Is President Biden actually punishing buyers with a better credit score? This is the weekly report on Major Money Matters. Welcome to Major Money Matters. My name is Major. I'm the host of Major Money Matters. I'm a mortgage broker powered by Edge Home Finance. If this is your first time here. Welcome to the Weekly Report, where we talk about what's going on in economics, specifically as it applies to home ownership and home buyers, home sellers, and how it could be affecting you if you're in that situation. A lot of cover this week, so let's get right to it. As usual, we start with the charts. All right, mortgage rates. We get a slight uptick in mortgage rates this week, but I drew this green line in here because I want you to see, in general, we're staying in this path, this valley, where uh, this chart is going up. And if you follow this channel, you know as this chart goes up, interest rates going down. Some days, a lot of volatility, rates going up, rates going down, but in general, moving lower towards our magic date of May 10th. Circle that on your calendar. Many people are predicting that that is the day where the CPI report comes out. There's going to be some adjustments made where interest rates could start going down pretty substantially. So we're circling May 10th on our calendar, but interest rates are continuing to stay in this valley where we're going down. In general, we end the week on an average interest rate of 6.66 on a 30 year conforming conventional loan in that range. Uh, national average for interest rates you could be a little higher, a little lower, depending on your down payment and your specific situation, what state you're purchasing in, etc. So, but average interest rates about 6.66 on a 30 year conventional loan, VA, FHA, a little bit lower. Next up, a story from CNN that says 5.5 may be the magic number for mortgage rates to get the market moving in the right direction. Interesting story here because I happen to really agree with this story because when we saw rates get down to the mid fives in February, we saw a lot of market activity. And as we've seen rates trend back towards that direction, it's getting very, very busy. Black Knight also released an article this week that said a 1% drop in interest rates could mean another 5 million buyers into the market. That's interesting because last year we only did 5.9 million sales. So they're essentially saying if interest rates drop one point, then you could see a doubling of people into the market. So don't sit on the sidelines now, get into a home in about two to three months when rates are at that level, I'll be sitting here saying, I told you so. You cannot afford to sit on the sideline and wait for interest rates to drop because you're gonna see a lot of competition when that does happen. Now let's get to our headline story here. And you know, I got sent this uh, screenshot from a realtor and a good friend of mine saying, hey, is this true? And this story is now being perpetuated all across the real estate industry and among buyers. Some mortgage professionals didn't even realize that this was happening, but I'm gonna tell you the reality of what's going on. First of all, let's talk about the dialogue behind this. And I'm gonna throw this picture up because this is exactly what was sent to me. A lot of this dialogue is being pushed by a certain news company that has a lot of viewers, but I highlight the fact that that news company also just paid $787 million in a defamation lawsuit uh, because they lied and knew that they were lying about a topic that was very, very important, okay? And this is not a political uh, channel, so I'm not gonna get into it, but the facts remain the facts. A dialogue is being pushed here, and I wanna help you understand what is really going on here because you're kind of being, triggered uh, in relationship to an election that's happening next year and the dialogue that starts to be being formed. So let's start talking about the reality around this situation. So a lot of people are using this chart right here to say that people with higher credit scores, 740 and above, are gonna pay a higher fee. And that's not entirely true. So first let's talk about what an LLPA is. A LLPA is simply a loan level pricing adjustment, all right? This is on all loans, okay? This is an adjustment to the base level or the coupon rate, which represents your mortgage rate. It's an adjustment to the rate based on the risk factors of that individual. If you have a 620 FICO score, you're considered to be higher risk. 
Therefore, you have a higher LLPA. If you have an 800 FICO score, you're considered to be not as high risk, so you have a lower LLPA, if any, uh, on a credit score that high. So this chart right here is being perpetuated to make people believe that people with a 740 FICO score, the red there, which technically shows the greatest increase to the loan level pricing adjustment, but it is not the highest level of the loan level pricing adjustment, okay? Because this chart is misleading, I'm gonna throw it out and let's focus on this chart, okay? This chart shows you that if you have a 700, 800 FICO score, the loan level pricing adjustment is less, okay? If you see a red area there, that means that's where the loan level pricing adjustment is higher, okay? So if you have a 620, 630, 640 FICO score and you're putting, uh, you know, 10, 15% down, your LLPA is going to be higher. Now, I will tell you, based on the adjustments that's being made by the FHA, if you have a lower FICO score and you're putting three to 5% down, uh, your LLPA, your loan level pricing adjustment, is not gonna be as much as it was before because of some adjustments that the FHA is making, and I will explain to you why they are doing that in a minute. But if you look at this chart here, you will see that some areas are red, some areas are lighter red, and then there are some areas that are green, okay? Those are areas where there's minimal risk, and therefore, those are going to be areas where uh, you are not gonna have an LLPA at all. So, you can see the numbers here of what the hits are to the uh, coupon rate. Therefore, you can see that there is no situation where you have a 700 FICO score and you have a less LLPA than somebody with a 620 FICO score, okay? So this is the chart that we should be focusing on, but the other chart is being played just to trigger you. So listen, these are some factors and the truth behind what I want you to know about these LLPA changes, okay? Number one, these are not new fees, okay? It's being treated like this is breaking information, but it's not. This information and news actually came out in January. And this is effective on loans that are sold or transferred to Fannie Mae, uh, effective March 1st. Therefore, if you bought a home on January, February, March, you already were paying these fees, whether you knew that you were paying the fees or not, because they were already priced into the rate. It's just that the lender had not sold them to Fannie Mae yet. So this is not a new fee. The next thing I want you to know is that the fee was already being charged. These are just adjustments to the fees. And I'm gonna tell you why there are adjustments to these fees, but this fee has already been charged. It was being charged if you bought a house three or four or five years ago. These fees were being charged. These are changes to the fees that the FHA, Federal Housing Administration, is putting into place now. Number three, the third thing I want you to know about this is this does not affect VA, FHA, USDA, or non-QM loans. This is only effective on conventional conforming loans. So if you're a VA buyer or you're a FHA buyer or something like that, you know, and you're, you're in this situation where you're buying a house right now, there are actually people suggesting that you should sabotage your credit score just so you don't have to pay as much of a fee. By the way, the fee is not that much. It's like 40 bucks on a $400,000 mortgage. So, so it's, the fee is not that much. You can understand that this is not for all loan types. It only applies to conventional loans. I wrap up talking a little bit about perspective. Now, the FHFA, the people who are putting these rules in place about the LLPAs. Now, the FHFA does operate under the Biden or the president's administration. The president appoints the head of the FHFA, or sorry, the head of the FHA. Um, but, you know, so, so if you say, hey, that's the administration, you are technically correct, but you're actually talking about the FHA. Okay. So I want you to understand the perspective by which they operate. They are in the mission of promoting home ownership, okay? And one of the things that they're trying to do is make it more possible for uh, disadvantaged home buyers, 
and to buy homes. Now, they've done this all the way back to 2022. In 2022, they uh, increased the LLPAs on uh, second homes and investment homes, okay? That's why those interest rates are higher and they're even higher now because they're LLPAs that are added on to the interest rates, okay? Earlier this year, earlier this year, they decreased the uh, MIP amount, uh, the mortgage insurance premium on FHA loans. They went from a 0.85 down to a 0.5 and everybody celebrated and everybody blasted stuff on their social media about how much more affordable and all the realtors were pumping things out about how much more affordable FHA was and everything because of this reduction in the MIP. Last, uh, last month or earlier this month, sorry, April 7th, April 7th was the day that the VA funding fee decreased. A lot of that having to do with the FH, uh, FHA. So the, they, de they decreased the VA funding fee on VA loans for veterans and everybody celebrated and everybody was happy and it was a great day and everybody posted stuff on their social media, talk about how great this was for veterans. If you're going to talk in terms of Biden is punishing people, then you also have to talk in terms of Biden is making it easier for FHA buyers to make their monthly payment. Biden is making it easier for veterans to, uh, or making it less expensive for veterans to buy a home. In order for you to be balanced and non-political, if that's your desire, some of you are just listening to said news station who pushes a certain narrative. But if that is your, if your goal is to be uh, just informational, then really you have to say things with the same tone and the same energy. You can't celebrate Biden doing one thing or the administration doing one thing and then say, oh, the administration is punishing people for this. That is a political statement more than it is an economic statement. And you're falling into a trap of being uh, more political bias, politically biased than you are with giving information. Okay, So I say all of that to say this. There's a lot of misinformation going around about these LLPAs. You're already paying. These were already in place. OK, but if you want to do some real research and, and some great information, I'm going to put an article from um, uh, Mortgage News Daily that breaks this down. OK, I'm not talking about unintended consequences yet of this, but this uh, this is actually getting out of control. And if you listen to this video, if you watch this video, please share it with a friend so they know the reality of what's going on and they're not triggered by certain words like you probably were when you clicked on the article uh, or the, uh, the title of this video today. Talk to you soon. See you next time on Major